Triple H made a groundbreaking announcement. He introduced the return of the World Heavyweight Championship with a new design. It looks like the classic gold belt and the IC title if they had a baby. The promo about Triple H was interesting. He kind of buried Roman Reigns for being a part-timer, stating that his contract doesn't force him to consistently defend the undisputed WWE Championship. Then he realized he messed up when the crowd started to boo heavily and he tried taking it back and saying that Roman Reigns is actually smart for doing that and the crowd was not liking it but it's the truth so triple h really just went out there and said the truth anyways i'm not sure how i feel about the title to be honest with you guys and i'm not just talking about the design while i do think the classic gold belt should have returned that's not really my issue i feel like that's something you will get used to over time but the part that feels weird to me is that it feels like triple h just basically said that roman reigns has been unstoppable so here's a new title for everyone else who couldn't beat him and because of that it doesn't truly really feel like a world heavyweight championship in my eyes it feels like a new mid card title because of that reason this is exactly how the world heavyweight championship felt in the old days in 2013 you had cm punk and john cena competing for the wwe title while dolph ziggler jack swagger and alberto del rio were in the world title picture it was clear which belt was more important and that's the vibe i got after this promo then again we'll have to wait and see how wwe does book this championship because with time you know they could do a good job maybe throughout time it can begin to become more prestigious with big names holding it and big time pay-per-view matches the real question is who should be the first world heavyweight champion and i know it definitely should not be cody rhodes cody cannot lose a big wrestlemania match and then go after the other belts it'll look like he's running away from the real challenge so he's not even an option there are realistically three people that I can see winning this belt, and the first one is Seth Rollins. I think it's fair to say that Seth Rollins has been out of the world title picture for a long time now, and winning this belt would be the perfect way to insert him back in that world title scene. However, I've seen a good amount of fans currently complaining about his new gimmick or his current gimmick. I don't know. What do you guys think of his persona? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, the second option is Finn Balor. There were reportedly huge plans for Finn Balor to become the world champion in 2023, and I thought that was honestly impossible because there's no way the man was going to defeat Roman Reigns for those belts. But with the new belt in town, I can see that happening. I can see that report becoming a reality, and the Judgment Day has been doing really well. I think WWE wants them to be a dominant group, and they can definitely have the entire group hold some gold. Rhea's already got a title, Finn can win this, and Dom and Priest can become tag team champions. And if it's not Finn or Rollins, I think that it should be LA Knight. That is my sleeper pick. The dude is seriously over. He's got all the right tools to become a main event player. It's a shame that WWE is not capitalizing on it right now. He should be winning more matches. He should be booked as a top guy. He should be on the top. And becoming the World Heavyweight Champion can get him there. Out of those three options I named, I think LA Knight would be the most entertaining name. I don't think they're going to pull the trigger because honestly, I think he might win money in the bank and then become the second World Heavyweight Champion. However, I'd rather see him get to the finish line before that and just winning the belt, you know, before winning money in the bank and waiting a few months or whatever. But anyways, those three names should be considered to win the title at Knight of Champions. But imagine, just imagine, WWE says screw it and Roman Reigns wins that title too. That might be the funniest thing that could possibly happen and it would also show the pure dominance from roman reigns it'd also be a terrible idea but it would be funny to see the iwc have a meltdown anyways this new title means that roman reigns is going to be the undisputed champion for a longer period of time i'm not even exaggerating but the man could break bruno san martino's record it's not out of the picture wwe just opened the door for a lot of new possibilities with that title anyways that is it for the video let me know your thoughts on the title its new design and who should be the first to win it thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.